You said watch the Marvel shows? Yo. Boy also 13 review. What the fuck? Yo, Ace, thank you for the five, my dude. Looking cool. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. You said watch the 13 review. The official gameplay. I think I've seen this and I didn't see shit. Let me see. All systems green. Synchronization rate. Oh, not this game. Bro, I thought you were talking about the, the Aegis Rift. But let me see. 6%. Now, car Where's that bitch's eyeball? Go handling car. Forklift. Oh, this is the game where the guy considered the, the girl in pink to be his waifu. And then I think he hate rated the game because... He hate review bombed the game. I forgot what it was for, but... Sorry. Hey, forklift! Fork over that weapon now! You know what the thing is about this game, too, is that it has to be on sale. Every time I see this game, it's still very expensive. It's like 50, 40 bucks. This shit gotta reach like 20 bucks. The corpse of a woman was discovered at an abandoned amusement park. During the investigation, internet idol ASEC Iris Sagan was abducted. Is the game is the game in the store right now on PlayStation? Let me know if it's on sale. Special Agent Date headed to the scene, the warehouse. Date, where did they go? However, Ota Matsushita was stabbed. That's me. Stabbed by the polar bear and severely injured. Backup is en route to this location. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Date, Iva, go to the warehouse again and investigate. The head of Abyss, boss, ordered further investigation. Mm, I'm about to play this game just for her fine ass. And she got the fucking lips, bro. She got the smolder lips. Station immediately. Is it of concern? I am Iva, Date's artificial eye. I am perfect for times like this. I can I don't know who I, who is that, but I want her toes. Use special functions to help Date's investigation. The Odoroki Man chocolate left at the crime scene. I finally re Oh, this is some Dang and Rampa style shit. Is this really like similar to Dang and Rampa? Is it is this similar to like Dang and Rampa or is this similar to a um to to the fucking nonary game? Like, like, if you were to compare this versus Danganronpa and, and the Nonary game, like, wh where would this game land? Don't compare it. It's more like Zero Escape. It's similar to Zero Escape. Okay, I like Zero Escape. I like it, though. It's a detective game. I like detective games. But something about the Nonary game... I like the first Nonary game because they were all PNGs, but the second Nonary game, making them all 3D, kind of turned me off, but I still would like to get back to it, though. True Jump Force fell off. Made by Zero Escape Creator. You telling me Zero's in that bitch? Oh, my goodness. He gonna be in this game. Motherfucking Ben, he gonna be in here talking about some. Get the numbers. Check out the numbers within the envelopes. Look at your wrist. What number are you? Bitch, don't worry about what number I am. Fuck. Are you good at detective games, though? Bro, I played all the dang and rompas. I played all the dang and rompas and played the fucking first nonary game. I didn't do the second nonary game, though. 13 Sentinels, though. I mean, man, 13 Sentinels got, like, a cool, unique art style. Bro, there's just so much games. But Elden Ring and then Horizon 2... <sighs> Shadow clone jutsu, man. It's like, I, it's so hard to just play everything, man. Okay, let me keep watching this, actually. But there's a part of me that don't want to watch this because now I feel like I'm about to get spoilers. Th there's no spoilers in this, right? Um, Ace? Didn't play Danganronpa S. What the fuck is Danganronpa S? He says no? You wouldn't catch it, okay. About the warehouse. Judging by the fingerprints, it was purchased by Mayumi Matsushita. Grandma got some big ass things though, Mayumi. 
I want milk. Shida. But why? Date visited the hospitalized Ota and interrogated him. Still get information. Boss got dick sucking lips, bro. I'm all for boss. Look at those lips. Inside his head. Sink. Date, as you know, the limit is six minutes. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. <laughs> Pewter looks funny. The sync system allows you to dive into the subject's subconscious mind. There, you can find leads that even the subject house. themselves may be unaware of. Iris is about to be. Stop right there! The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. All calling on me to strike back against evil. I will protect Tessa. Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. Humans all possess secrets, trauma, and guarded psyches. They are what we call mental locks. By solving them within the time limit, you can go deeper into the mind. Get closer to the truth. Oh, why would you show me this now? Oh my god, this game looks so interesting. I, You know what's crazy? I've seen trailers of this game before, but I didn't see full in-depth gameplay of what it was. I usually just saw cutscenes of shit happening. And a lot of the time, people who showed me cutscenes of this game, I wouldn't watch it because I'm like, I don't understand the context. I would just be so confused. Date is linked with me, an advanced artificial intelligence. Through me, he can investigate a subject, Somnium. Huh? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Ota's Somnium World, a world for Ota created by Ota. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position Remember, the, the dream world does not obey the laws of reality. That's right. I can't be scared now. I have to stand up. <laughs> Explore the deepest recesses of the subject's subconscious and witness conversations and actions that their conscious mind may not be aware of. Date, track down the real culprit by releasing the mental locks. Ooh, I like how this guy in the bottom looks. The guy with the with the with the green glasses. I like his I like his facial definition. He looks like a cool character in the show. Well, what was the other link? Let me see. Also, the thirteen review. This shit right here. This game, the art style to this game is beautiful. It's fucking beautiful, but it's like. My question with this game is that, is this a game that's going to be streamable in a sense of like, is this going to capture the viewer? Will the viewer watch me play this or will they be like, bro, this is fucking boring. That's the thing that scares me about this game. Prior to 13 Sentinel's Aegis Rim, Vanillaware has previously worked mostly on side-scrolling hack and slash RPGs. So I imagine a lot of fans will be surprised when they start up 13 Sentinels and discover it's a 2D side-scrolling story adventure with real-time tactical battles. It's twisty, sci-fi story is definitely the centerpiece though, and it's quite a yarn. Let's just say, giant monsters and robots are only the tip of this iceberg. And it's been a lot of fun to see a bombastic story where concepts like time travel and alternate universes are filtered through something other than the superhero lens that's dominated American sci-fi. It looks so decade. good though. Yeah, this, you said the, it's the best visual novel I've, bro, it looks beautiful, man. The 26 hour story follows 13 high school students who pilot giant robots 26 hours. fight giant monsters, all while they uncover the mystery behind their mission. But the story twists and turns so much that by the end, it's traveled far away from this initial premise. As you explore a gorgeous 2D world, you'll have conversations, pick up clues, and make choices that will lead to different outcomes. However, you actually need to play through every branch to reach the one and only true ending, so don't expect your choices to mean much. The cast is made up of a mix of both unique personalities and some that rely heavily on tropes. 13 Sentinels' characters are actually at their best. I saw that doctor, and she had them things. I will purposely fall in fucking school. Bro. When they're allowed to be normal high schoolers. One, for instance, has aspirations said of being a live streaming Bro. singer. She's just nice. Yo, everybody's story. like, go back, bro. I saw her. It, yo, I saw her, man. She was. She, she looked like a bowl of oatmeal. Actually, at their best when they're allowed to be normal high schoolers. Fuck, I think I missed it. Go back. Tropes. 
13 Sentinels made Fuck. up of a mix of both unique Where she at? You don't see it. Look at her down there. God damn, bro. I will purposely hit my head just so I could see her in school. Dank bowls. Tainted, I swear to God. Tainted, I swear to God, if you mention dank bowls one more fucking time. One more fucking time talking about bowls that are dank. Okay. And some that rely heavily on tropes. 13 Sentinels' characters are actually at their best when they're allowed to be normal high schoolers. One, for instance, has aspirations of being a live streaming singer, which is just a nice bit of storytelling. Atlas is very concerned with preserving story surprises and has asked reviewers to not talk about anything after the first 30% of the story, which I think is a bad move since it limits me to the most boring part, and I wasn't planning on spoiling anything for you anyways. Suffice it to say that 13 Sentinels has a slow and cliche heavy start, but there's a lot of story meat to dig into, and when things get going, it really gets interesting. This can sometimes get confusing because it relies heavily on made up jargon and with a bunch of side characters across all 13 interwinding storylines, it's enough to make your head spin. But there are some good recaps throughout to reorient yourself with. Vanilla games are lauded and sometimes criticized for their art style. Although highly detailed, it's scantily clad men and women with exaggerated proportions can border on cheesecake. In 13 Sentinels though, the artists have been reined in a bit for the character designs. While the results are still unmistakably vanillaware style, these characters, for the most part, look like high schoolers in a typical anime. There's still fan service in places, like when a buxom woman appears wearing a cleavage showcasing motorcycle outfit. People are mad for fan service? They probably never watched anime or played an anime game ever in their life. All anime is majority of the time is fan service. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of action and great story and shit. But fan service is part of anime shit. So people getting mad at some titties and some and some cleavage and some booty. Get the fuck out of here. Also, the teenage mech pilots are all naked in their sentinel cockpits. Hey yo, she naked in the pot. For reasons. In light of that reputation for cool art and 2D side scrollers, I was curious how Vanillaware would tackle the mech first kaiju combat. But it turns out Vanillaware had something different in mind altogether. Combat takes place on this hologram style map. It may not be the awesomely animated 2D mech versus kaiju slugfest I'd imagine, but these real time tactical battles have their own unique visual flair as well as a respectable amount of depth to them. You'll face literally hundreds of kaiju, and there is a specific kind of on wiping out entire portions of an enemy horde with a well placed missile barrage. Each sentinel has unique specialties such as melee, range damage, flight, and all rounders. So if you know that you'll be facing a lot of flying enemies, it's best to load up your squad of six sentinels with anti-air capabilities to counter them. Depending on your mech specialty, the Wait, but my question is, is how the fuck they go from having a school life and, and like, you know... How does it go from school life to this? Is, is that the reason why people are like, just play the game? Because it's like... We can't say why. You see, that's the thing. So that's why they, they want you to play the game. There will be unique because I'm like, I'm thinking it's a school life game, and then out of the blue, they're just like, Oh, yeah, by the way, mechas, you got to start blowing shit up. Weapons like long range missiles or guardian sentries, and there's room to customize them to your play style as well. It's possible to have a melee unit that can dabble in range attacks, or a flight unit that deals heavy melee. Is the whole game voice acted, or is it only like some portions that are voice acted? Babrinsky just said yes. Full voice. Play damage. Pilots will also learn special skills which are unique to them and give them special buffs. I found a balanced approach works best, so my team comps always contained at least one of each type of sentinel. But however you like to play, you'll want to level up your sentinels fast because the difficulty will ramp up quite suddenly. It's going to suddenly feel very overwhelming with the number of kaiju on the field and having more powerful sentinels will help you clear them faster. Sure, you can turn down the difficulty to easy and just focus on the story, but I found that just made the battles boring to sit through. A special mention goes to the localization team. The voice acting hasn't been translated to English in time for launch, so there is a lot of text in 13 Sentinels. That includes loads of sci-fi jargon- Wait a minute, they just said that there's no voice acting. Fully voiced in English or Japanese? Both? Oh, I being thrown around and multiple shenanigans happening at once and to both translate it to English and localize it so as to feel both natural and modern 
takes extreme skill. This is kind of surreal. Vanillaware games have always looked great, but 13 Sentinels is the first time the studio has put a bulk of its focus on storytelling, and it pays off. This revival of classic sci-fi ideas hits all the right notes and goes deep without overstaying its welcome, even at over 20 hours long. And while Vanillaware's attempts at doing something different with combat by branching out into real-time tactics to portray its city-scale mechs versus kaiju warfare is commendable, the storytelling and rich characters undoubtedly do all the heavy lifting in making 13 Sentinels an enjoyable journey. For more story and strategy, check out our reviews of Crusader Kings 3. I gotta wait for these games to hop on sale then. So next time these games do go on sale, let me know. Cause I'll I'll definitely I'll definitely consider probably copping them. You said 10 out of 10, bitch. Damn, you said 10 out of 10? Yes out of the yes? You said I might replay it on PC. Wait, what the fuck is Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. You said, but finish Ceno play first? Oh yeah, of course. That's the that's the main goal. I mean I doubt the games are gonna go on sale again anytime soon. In before they go to sale, like they go on sale tomorrow or some shit. Like a spring sale or a Valentine's Day sale. You said Antorna? Bro, you said Torna was 40 hours. Yes. You said 13 Sentinels was on sale last month? How much was the sale price for it? Seven thousand experience? Oh my god, collect the tear of the sky from distance fingertips on fallen arm. What? Target not found because it has to be, he said, a what, a thunderstorm? So when the fuck does, oh my god. You said Mans has many games in the backlog and people still recommending games. <laughs> Tony. That's like, that's like the curse live of a streamer, high key. It's so crazy. Like your backlog could be like the size of fucking the goddamn Bionis' sword in this game. And then they'll be like, yo, so I recommend Mother 3. You said around $40? God damn, isn't, that game came out in 2019 and it's still 40 bucks? It, it, it must be that good then. If it's still 40. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, at least 20. I mean, at most, 20 to 25 or some shit. 